What's up guys, welcome back to yet another review video. So it's been almost 5 to 6 days where OnePlus released Oxygen OS 12 stable build for OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So in this video, we'll be doing complete review about the same. As always, we created a poll asking you guys about what all issues you guys have faced on the first open beta of Oxygen OS 12. And this is the first time that OnePlus have rolled out stable build over the beta build. So let's find out how stable is this build and can it be used as daily driver on your primary device. So without wasting any more time let's get started so here we have our oneplus 8 so as said i installed this build on the day one and since then i've been using this device on or off but i've used this device as my primary phone for almost two to three days so as you all are aware version was c.11 for stable build and in the first impressions of stable build oxygen os we did not show you guys the benchmark results so here are the benchmark results of stable build of oxygen os 12 for oneplus 8 series my oneplus 8 with single core have scored 908 and with multi core device have scored 3116 with antutu benchmark device scores 660084 but did notice bit of throttling issues on my oneplus 8 running oxygen os 12 as you can see here the starting point of the graph and the ending point of the graph wherein we just did 15 minutes of cpu throttle max cpu throttled up to 72 percent only and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and we have 82 percent of users who do watch our videos but they haven't subscribed to our channel so for them if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video and guys let me tell you one thing as said i use this device for almost two to three days as my primary phone there are no major bugs to be seen but yes there are some minor issues here and there but with those issues it's not like you won't be able to use your device as a primary phone most users are happy with the battery part and the performance part of this stable build of oxygen os 12 for oneplus 8 series and oneplus 9r trust me we get great battery backup after this first stable build of oxygen os 12 and still there are people who have been continuously asking me about oneplus dialer so guys i'll provide a video link in the description below you guys can try out that specific apk and in that video i have also shown how does that dialer work that's a stock dialer of oneplus so you can follow that video guide and guys notification issue is still present with oxygen os 12 and i don't say that it's present with all the applications few applications do behave weird for example whatsapp i right now don't have the screenshot of that but most of the times if i have any whatsapp message in the notification panel i just get to see that whatsapp new message wherein i don't get to see the username and nor i can reply on the same message so that is a issue but it doesn't happen all the time only sometimes i do face that issue and also guys remember one thing if you are facing too many issues like app crashes and other stuff then for once make sure to perform a factory reset of your device my recommendation will be take backup boot your device into recovery first power off your device to boot your device into recovery hold volume down and power key until you see recovery mode or oneplus logo once you see oneplus logo release the buttons your device will boot into recovery from there select wipe data and perform a factory reset you'll see a lot of improvement in the performance part and you won't face any kind of issues with the app crashes and after this update i have also noticed bit of heating issues with my oneplus 8 and that happens if i keep my device for charge device do heat up and with the normal usage also i can feel device getting warmed up so i think this thing is an issue for most of the users i have seen on internet but let's see if oneplus gonna fix the same with upcoming update and i still see users complaining about refresh rate dropping to 60 while using the device so guys this is actually a feature wherein refresh rate drops if you're not touching your phone so as you can see right now i'm not touching my phone wherein the max refresh rate what i've set is 90 and this feature do saves your battery until unless you touch the device it will remain on minimum fps what a device can deliver so as soon as i touch you can see it switches to 90 fps so this is not a bug guys this is how it meant to be on oxygen os 12 and i've also noticed bit of delays in the incoming message on my oneplus stock messaging app and another app which doesn't provide notification is this gmail so i don't get any messages or mails from this gmail application until unless i open the same i tried changing the settings but nothing happened and I've also found few users complaining about fingerprint unlock. It seems fingerprint unlock is not working in their devices. But guys, there's no issue with the fingerprint unlock on Oxygen OS 12. As said, if you guys are facing too many issues, then for once, make sure to perform a factory reset. And there's also another glitch on this Oxygen OS 12. HDR seems to be broken though you get the support of Widevine L1. But HDR seems to be completely broken. 
here are some of the screenshots which were shared by one of my telegram friend though you can still watch hd content and hopefully this thing would be fixed in the upcoming updates so guys these were some of the minor issues what i have found and few users have been complaining about it but other than these things there is no major issue on oxygen os 12 so if you can compromise on such minor issues then you can use this os on your primary phone and now let's also talk about the battery backup so this is one place where lot many people are saying that they are getting a great battery backup on their devices running oxygen os 12 first stable build so before talking about the screen on time which i have got another issue what i felt on my oneplus 8 was led to slow charging though i wasn't able to take the exact time of charging but it's not like that device is completely charging slow there are possibilities that you might see a difference of 10 to 15 minutes compared to the previous charging speed of oxygen os 11 and for that i need to test out my device after downgrading to oxygen os 11 and then compare it with the oxygen os 12 i'll update you guys about the same on a telegram group so if you haven't joined a telegram group link of that can be found in the description below here is the first screen on time where you can see i got 4 hours and 42 minutes of screen on time this is with my normal usage guys but i get lot many messages and notifications so keep that thing in mind after that on day 2 i got 4 hours and 29 minutes of screen on time again with the normal usage an overnight battery drain is really superb you can see i kept my device idle when the battery percentage was 38 and after almost six hours my device only lost three percent of battery so when it comes to battery a great job done by oneplus talking about the camera so basically with the camera we don't have any new features and i personally did not even find any improvements over the previous build which was open beta or you can also consider oxygen os 11 results are same still we get to see that color shifting between the different lenses portrait mode does a decent job with front and back camera device still maintains exposure pretty well so with the camera i don't even expect more i'm happy with the performance what i still get on my oneplus 8 the only thing which i would like to appreciate on my oneplus 8 running oxygen os 12 is related to the photos clicked in nightscape mode on almost all the devices which are running oxygen os 12 for example oneplus 9 9 pro those two devices have completely messed up with the night mode you won't see any difference in the pictures clicked with normal mode and night mode on oneplus 9 and 9 pro running oxygen os 12 but on my oneplus 8 you can see a clear huge difference between the picture quality of photos taken in normal mode and night mode so here once again would like to thanks oneplus for keeping the same stuff what we had on oxygen os 11 when it comes to night mode and now let's also talk about the gaming part or you can say performance so basically with oxygen os 12 we do see lot of improvement in the performance and battery backup but users have still been complaining about the frame drops in battlegrounds mobile india and even i have noticed that thing my device most of the time remains between 45 to 55 fps though we don't have the 90 fps support yet on oxygen os but if we are getting 60 fps i think device should support above 55 but that's not the case here and i'm not sure it's an issue with game or it's with oxygen os 12 i don't have any other device to test out battlegrounds mobile india performance right now with me but yes i do feel my oneplus smartphones running oxygen os 12 are not able to deliver what they had to deliver when it comes to performance or you can say gaming and i know most of you guys are still waiting for 90 fps support but we are trying our best we tried multiple ways to fix this issue of 90 fps we were able to manage to fix this but after sometimes the again fps drops back to 60. so guys this was a complete review of oxygen os 12 stable build for oneplus 8 series if i missed out anything then do let me know in the comment section below Below. and if you still have any kind of questions that also you can drop down in the comment section as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day